New from 101 Films with their joint venture with Agfa comes The Zodiac Killer. This is the sixth title for Agfa and oh, this was such a, a joy to watch. I wasn't expecting much getting this one. Checking the trailer, I know it looked a little rough around the edges and I wasn't quite sure what I was getting. The history of the film is just fascinating. Made by a guy who owned a chain of pizza shops for 13,000, he made this as a ploy to try and catch the Zodiac Killer in a way of getting um, notoriety and maybe pushing his movie to make a little bit more money and throw him into a career of filmmaking. It didn't quite pan out but still what we end up with is a wonderfully exploitation version of the Zodiac. This is a hodgepodge of true life stuff mixed with kind of tabloid sentiments and there are a whole bunch of just made up crap thrown in for the sake of it. Here, put your hand on the carburetor. No, no, honey, hold it tight. Okay, I've got it. We meet the Zodiac, who is a milkman in this one, a kind of person that touches everybody's lives in one way or another throughout the movie. And throughout this film, we get interspersed sequences of him killing people as he did, as the Zodiac did, but then also split in with this are moments of him just killing people just for the sake of it because the opportunity arises and it's so kind of funny because I'm wondering if it's done to really get the kill count up, to make it a little bit more trashy and exploitative, to really get the money out of the movie, or if it's done to antagonise the killer, to try and make him stand up and say, that's not what happened, so they can snap on the cuffs and become worldwide superstars for catching this man. Either way, I enjoyed the hell out of the movie. I loved that it does have some of the Zodiac actual deaths and murders in there. I love the fact that it goes right off the rails and it doesn't seem to care. This is a movie that feels as if it's been shot by the seat of their pants, as if they haven't really thought everything through, as if they've just decided, you know what, let's just kill an old woman by the side of the road. Can we do it in a fun way? Yes we can. Well let's just shoot it. We've got cameras, we've got people we're not paying, let's do this. And Zodiac is a real kind of hodgepodge of a movie. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it tells a tale and it's well constructed and it is very much in its exploitation roots, very tabloidy, very sensational about the way it's delivering its sordid tale of this twisted killer and what he had to do um, or what he did and, and how they were possibly going to catch him. It's a fun movie. If you like exploitation, this is one of the better versions, I'd say, um, out of all of the Agfa titles so far, The Zodiac Killer and The She Freak, uh, two movies that are incredibly fun together. Uh, the best double release that they've done so far of these, um, which I'm really happy about. Like I said, looks great. It's a great transfer. It's got some wonderful bonkers ideas within this one, and it just delivers a, an exploitation shot straight to my heart. <laughs> I really enjoyed the Zodiac Killer for what it was. I can't wait to go back and watch it again. Um, I can't wait to watch it with one of my friends who's really quite knowledgeable about the case of the Zodiac just to see how disgusted he is with how twisted this story is. This also comes with an interview with the director as well who pretty much just puts it all in the line explaining exactly, he, he knew exactly what he was doing, how he went about it, how it was just running gun shooting, how nobody got paid or anything like that was done and it's terrific. Now, The Zodiac Killer is another one of these releases that comes with another movie, that movie being Another Son of Sam. Now, this is a 72 minute movie uh, from 1977 and it is uh, incredibly, again, well made, but it must be incredibly low budget as well. Uh, given a 2K scan, it actually looks pretty great in this one. It's all about an escaped killer from a hospital who goes on a rampage. No! 
It starts off the movie with a list of various killers and crimes that they did and how they built up their legacy, how some were caught and how some were still on the loose and then it tries to create another mythology, hence the title, Another Son of Sam. Uh, and although it never really has the budget or the gumption to really eke into that exploitation of showing the blood and the guts and the naked skin that exploitation is so familiar for, it does create a, a wonderfully concise tale, you know, escaped convict, on the run, harming people, police trying to track them down, shoot out at the end, happy-ish ending for everybody, almost. It ticks all the boxes and uh, to have this as an additional movie uh, was wonderful. Now we've had a couple of additional movies before um, in the form of Revenge of Lady Street Fighter and uh, Run Coyote Run and I really feel like um, this one is its own thing. It's a proper movie that I could see me throwing on and watching again. It's not a a curiosity. It's not an oddity that I just I need to figure out. It's one that I genuinely enjoyed watching. Now, this comes with the extras as well. So let's jump into the disc and have a look to see what this has. Hello, and here we are in the disc for the Zodiac Killer. We're going to go into the extras. We have a commentary with director Tom Hansen and producer Manny Nedwick. We have a just under three, uh, just under four minutes, sorry, interview with Tom Hansen and Manny Nedwick. We have the bonus movie, Another Son of Sam, which is pretty terrific. And we have tabloid horror trailers from the Agfa archive. All real life killers immortalised in exploitation film. This is just under seven minutes. And that is the extras for the Zodiac Killer. So there we have it. The Zodiac Killer. Highly recommended if you're an exploitation fan. This is one of the better releases uh, from 101 films in the Agfa range, which is saying something because I've enjoyed most of them so far. The two movies are really fun, really heavy exploitation. If you're a fan of, of uh, truth uh, and proper adaptations of real life stories, this isn't the one for you. <laughs> if you like kind of quirky, odd, something a little bit different, something incredibly fun, then the Zodiac Killer from 101 Films is something that you need to have in your collection. I thought it was incredibly entertaining and I loved Another Son of Sam as well. So there we go. I'd love to know your thoughts on either of these movies, so let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on this. As always, there's more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff. And if you click that heart button down there, it'll stop me from being brutally murdered by one of these crazed serial killers. And if you want to join the membership or the Patreon program, that would be amazing. Can't wait for you to join that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Man V Film.